Patrick's son Pascal was electrocuted by a high voltage wire in a devastating accident. His leg and lower arm had to be amputated. But a bionic arm is helping them look to the future. To be honest, now I have hope. I'll be very happy when he gets that hand so he can start picking things and stuff. The Mkono One bionic arm operates using advanced brain signal technology and prosthetic design, allowing amputees to regain vital functions. It senses your muscle and once your muscle flexes, it senses the data and transfers it to a microprocessor, which in turn moves a motor and opens and closes the prosthetic. The team behind the arm says it is not just about restoring physical capabilities, it's about empowering individuals to lead more independent lives and engage fully with their surroundings. The Mkono One Bionic Arm is now going to be developed and enhanced further to fit perfectly for Pasco. The 3D printed motorized hand should improve his quality of life by allowing him to grab and lift items of up to 12 kilos. Rover Labs founder Atish Shah says he can use remote fabrication of orthopedic devices by utilizing smartphone cameras, which significantly reduces the need for patients to travel long distances to urban medical facilities. This initiative is particularly beneficial for individuals with conditions like scoliosis, ensuring that they can receive the care they require from the comfort of their communities. What this technology offers, right, is actually making the whole process decentralized. So let's say if you are in a rural area, right, in some of the village in, you know, a far off village in Tanzania, if I have an iPhone scanner, I can actually scan your limb, send that limb digitally, right, to an email or on WhatsApp, get an STL file, model it, right, and manipulate it on the software, get a device made and send it, ship it to you back from wherever, you know, uh, you are in, in, in TZ. While the final product is still being refined, the technology has the potential to significantly enhance the quality of life for many individuals facing similar challenges. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.